yes good morning 10th this is figure 8.7 8.6 was showing you external features of human heart and associated blood vessels uh, this was this one labelings i have not explained to you so i would like to explain both 8.6 and 8.7 to you so if you see front view of human heart there beginning from the upper one this is aortic arc means this is dorsal aorta making an arc okay this is right atrium right auricle we can call superior vena cava bringing in blood from anterior part of the body head shoulders upper part inferior vena cava also called as post cable this is called as pre cable or uh, okay anterior vena cava or superior vena cava both the names then both of these are having opening in the right auricle opening pouring deoxygenated blood into right auricle then these are right pulmonary veins and this side you can see left pulmonary veins this is left atrium and you can understand that the pulmonary veins are bringing blood from lungs to the heart and they are pouring into left atrium of course this blood is oxygenated this is the this side means right side of the heart receiving deoxygenated blood left side receiving oxygenated blood okay then you can see descending aorta means after making an arc it is from back side of the heart it is moving downward supplying blood to rest of the body parts ligamentum arteriosum the ligament which is connecting these two then left pulmonary artery this one left pulmonary artery will supply blood from left uh, this is left and this is right pulmonary arteries are arising from the base of the uh, this heart that is near to the right ventricle they are arising from right ventricle and carrying deoxygenated blood to the lungs so this is supplying to left lung and this is supplying to right lung these are veins are bringing blood from lungs and arteries are supplying blood so supplying one are having deoxygenated blood although these are artery this you know exceptional case <clears throat> then you can see coronary veins and coronary arteries coronary is the term for heart so coronary artery the vessel which is supplying blood to the heart itself so of course artery will carry the oxygenated blood right coronary artery and left coronary artery they are supplying blood to the heart okay these were the labelings for like figure 8.6 now i will explain you 8.7 although we have discussed this in uh, online class also but better you see it here once again so this is the internal structure of human heart and associated blood vessels beginning again from the superior vena cava or anterior vena cava pouring blood into right atrium then inferior or posterior vena cava also called as post caval this one three names they are having this is pre caval so both are pouring blood into right atrium then from right atrium blood will pass through tricuspid valve three flaps are there sometimes children are having confusion where is tricuspid which side is bicuspid so this remember that this is receiving blood from whole of the body so this is tri three flapped valve is on right side as it is having blood from whole of the body this is just a hint uh, the way my way of learning this okay this direction of tricuspid and bicuspid this is asked for location where is tricuspid valve located so then blood that is deoxygenated which is received by right atrium will be passing through the tricuspid valve and will be re reaching the right ventricle and then you can see this these are the papillary muscles and cordy tendony very important structure cordy tendony they hold the tricuspid valve in its position they keep them in their position and they prevent their upturning 
when ventricles will be contracting that time this gate should be closed so that blood should not flow back towards the atrium it has to flow towards the pulmonary artery for oxygenation it will enter the lungs this is deoxygenated blood it has to move to lungs for oxygenation so when ventricles are contracting that time due to pressure this valve should not turn should not upturn and blood should not move into the wrong direction that's why there are cordy tendony which are holding the valves in their position then you can you come to the left side left atrium it is receiving blood through pulmonary veins two from each so four apertures are there which are bringing blood from lungs this is bringing from left lung this is bringing from these are bringing from right lung and all four are pouring blood into the left atrium which is receiving of course the oxygenated blood then this will be passing through bicuspid valve also called as mitral valve which is having only two flaps then semilunar or pocket valves of aorta are there that you will i will explain you so after a blood reaches to the left ventricle through bicuspid valve it will be forced during ventricular contraction it will be forced towards the aorta so that it has to supply to the body parts then there are pocket valves or semilunar valves at the base of aorta here as well as at the base of pulmonary artery these are also closed these supply blood in one way direction only blood should not move back that pocket valve they they fill and they close the pockets once after ventricular contraction so these two figures very important you have to learn carefully please this is for revision although i have discussed i uh, in the class also but here also i am uploading the video